Hello, remember I talked about three stage buyer's behavior? Today I'm going to share with you three stage seller's behavior. So, what is three stage seller's behavior? Believe me, sellers also come in different stages, behave totally differently. So, three stage seller's behavior the first stage, sellers who are really very confident with the whole market. You know, you are very into packing the house. You are very clear that you know you want certain price and you want to hit record price. So this is what you belong to the stage one. So you will always ask agent, Let, help me try this price. You know, I want this price, you help me try. But you must always remember, while you are being stage one sellers, buyers is which stage? Buyer is stage three. Because why? Stage three buyer is the first few buyers that will appear in your house and say hi to you and view your house because they are so eager to buy something. And while they are so eager to buy something, you are in the stage one, you are testing the market. You know, you are confident that you know, I want X amount of money, I want record high price. That's when you belong to the stage one. Will a stage one seller match a stage three buyer? High chance it might not. Why is it like that? Because stage three buyer know the market very well. They are willing to pay, but they are not willing to pay to the extreme. So what? Meaning that this, you will lose out the stage three buyer being a stage one seller. So this is something that I always, you know, preempt my sellers to make sure they don't fall into this trap. Subsequently, you will be in the stage two. What is stage two? Stage two is what you will start to have a lot of viewing because why you will always stress the the, the, the agent and say, hey Gary, how come this weekend no viewing? Huh? Is there any week viewing this weekend? You will always ask the agent for viewing. So what will the agent do? They will start to bring all the stage one buyer to view your house. Stage one is what? They will be doing a lot of research. So your house will become what? Become a show flat. Every weekend, yes, you will have viewing, but you are there to do what? To let people do research because you are not targeting the right group of buyers. So being stage two sellers, your KPI is what? Your objective is to show people so that you know you got more opportunity to, to, to gain your record high price. But in the end, is this eff effective? It is not. It is not. Believe me, it is not effective. And you will get drained. Every weekend, your family time, you will have to rush back home, open the door, let buyer come and do research. Do research because you are handling the stage one buyer. So stage one buyer, they'll do what? They will become stage two and that is when you become stage three seller. Every day you will get a lot of low ball offer, you know, a lot of unrealistic offer and you will be, what happened? Being stage three, you will start to doubt. Maybe our price is a bit high. La. Maybe, you know, our house is not what the market wants. So you will have a lot lower confidence. And this is what happens. Subsequently, you will start to say, maybe I should sell lower price. And because of all these stage two people coming in, giving you low ball offer, and maybe a lot along the journey, stage one, two, and three, by the time you are in stage three, you have a timeline to sell your place. You know, you, you see something you like, or you know, you, you have a timeline that you need to meet to sell your place. And that is when you end up selling a lot lower than what you are supposed to do. So this is what the stage three seller's behavior. And this is the three stage seller's behavior. So when we want to sell our place, we need to be very, very careful on how should a seller's behave. How should a seller's behave? So from there, you can overcome different stages and look at how should the buyer's behavior, the three stage buyer behavior, then we will match. When we are stage one seller, we straight away see what is a stage three buyer's one. What stage three buyer's one? We straight away give them and we close the chapter immediately, not dragging you all the way to let people do research, let people lowball you until the confidence is low. With this, understanding these two different behavior, it will definitely make your selling process a lot more interesting and fulfilling. Of course, understanding three-stage seller's behavior also gives you an advantage when you are a buyer and negotiate the price with the seller because you know when is the time they are a lot 
more serious to sell, a lot more flexible to sell you at a lower price. With that, that's all for this three stage seller's behavior today. I will see you all real soon. Hope this video is interesting for you. Bye bye.